Hello guys, so welcome back. If you are applying for a UK student visa, you have to go through various interviews that include pre-CAS interview, CAS interview and immigration interview. All the interviews contents are pretty much similar. If you are prepared from the very onset for one interview, I'm sure you can easily crack down yeah, the rest of the interviews along the way. In this video, I'm going to share a more cast interview with one of my subscribers. If you are interested, we can arrange a similar interview with yourself as well. All you need to do is subscribe to the channel and comment below and I'll get in touch with yourself to arrange a similar interview with yourself. So let's watch the recorded interview. Let's start with the first question. Can you confirm your name and date of birth, please? My name is Salik Ahmed. My date of birth is... Thank you very much. Uh, what course and modules are you are going to study? Uh, my course is MSc International Business. Uh, my course module is uh, level 7 MSc workshop, uh, um, uh, international uh, uh, level 7 MSc workshop, uh, global business in context, international finance, uh, global marketing, all sales development, uh, the digital landscape, international HRM, uh, global strategy development and implementation. Uh, international business research skills and international uh, entrepreneurship. Thank you very much. Yeah, that was a good answer. So why you have chosen this course? Well, uh, basically, I have decided to study MSc International Business because it's completely related to my previous qualification as I have completed my bachelor from BBA. Uh, also, mm, uh, this course helped me. This course uh, will give me mm, a deep idea as well as knowledge mm, uh, about internal and external context of international business. Uh, mm, uh, that will mm, uh, uh, that will help full, uh, for me mm, uh, for my future career uh, goal. Uh, also, uh, international uh, nowadays mm, uh, business uh, are more complex as well as difficult due to um, uh, open market economy as well as uh, uh, globalization uh, therefore um, uh, at the same time um, uh, small medium or large enterprise always face this lot of difficulties as well as complexity uh, and therefore it requires um, managers as well as experts um, uh, for um, improving their sales as well as um, uh, in order to achieve their uh, corporate goals. Uh, so it uh, has a great chance uh, to set my uh, profession in, uh, in an international uh, business organization. Therefore, I have decided to complete my post um, uh, graduation uh, in, uh, in MS International Business. Thank you very much. So why did you choose this particular university? Well, I'm going to study at Ulster University because each module has been each module has been uh, carefully designed to enhance employability. Uh, also, uh, for the past six years, it has received 100% student satisfaction in the uh, National Student Survey, and a recent research was conducted by the DLHC that um, around 92% students. Uh, who graduated uh, from Ulster University are employed or in further education within just six months. In fact, mm, uh, it caught my eyes basically. Um, mm, uh, therefore, I preferred Ulster University for my further uh, study destination. Thank you very much. And have you researched other universities as well? And which one you researched? Yes, I have considered uh, other two universities, uh, for example, uh, University of Portsmouth and uh, Cardiff Metropolitan University, but I have decided to study in, uh, at Ulster University because um, uh, uh, because um, uh, Ulster University's uh, rank is higher uh, than Portsmouth uh, as well as uh, Cardiff University. Uh, for example, um, uh, 43, um, uh, for example, um, uh, it's ranked uh, currently 43 uh, in business management subject, uh, whereas um, uh, Portsmouth is uh, uh, 
Portsmouth ranked is 61 as well as uh, Cardiff Metropolitan ranked, uh, ranked is 107 uh, right now. Thank you very much. And do you know where you will be studying? What campus would you study in? Well, uh, I, I'm going to start. Um, I'm going to study at Ulster University, London campus. Okay. So my next question is: Why do you want to study in the UK? No, any other countries? Well, uh, after a lot of consideration, I have decided to. Uh, I have decided to, uh, to UK uh, over other countries because UK universities uh, provide top class academic staff and make uh, professional career oriented courses also uh, uk universities um, uh, education as well as certification have an excellent international reputation as they maintain high quality standard uh, according to higher education statistic agency um, 86 percent uh, postgraduate master degree holders in the united kingdom are employed uh, full-time uh, so it's a uh, huge uh, it's a huge uh, percentage uh, also um, uk universities require very reasonable tuition fee uh, if i compare uh, to the usa or canada and lastly, I want to say um, UK course duration is shorter uh, than uh, Canada as well as Australia and uh, the United States. Okay, thank you very much. Um, my next question, I mean, you pretty much yeah, touch on that as well. What course did you last study? Well, I have completed. Uh, can you hear me, sir? Yes. Uh, I have completed my Bachelor of Business Administration from Leading University in June 2021. Right, so you are continuing basically from June 2021, you're going to carry on straight into the MSc, is that correct, yeah? Yes, yeah, sir. So you have, have you got any experience in your field as well? Or no, you, you are just continuing with your studies? No, sir. I'm just continuing uh, my studies. I don't have any uh, previous experience. Okay, so my next question will be, what is your plans after completion of this course? Uh, after completing my course, uh, I want to uh, use my skill as well as knowledge in an international setting. My ambition is to return to Bangladesh and work uh, with a multinational companies such as um, Unilever Bangladesh Limited, Nestle Bangladesh Limited, RFL uh, Pran uh, Group uh, Limited, uh, etc. Uh, I expect to start as a, uh, as a, I expect to start my profession uh, as an uh, assistant operation manager uh, at one of the aforementioned uh, organization. Uh, uh, after seven to eight years of service, um, uh, I promoted to um, uh, operation managers and um, I hope uh, uh, my dedication as well as hard work um, uh, will uh, give me um, uh, uh, give me opportunity to, opportunity to touch my uh, uh, desired uh, goal like as a CEO of any uh, multinational organization. Okay, thank you very much. So, how much you anticipate to earn after completion of your studies? After complete, after completing my study, I expect to start my profession as an assistant operation manager, and I hope that my salary will be around one lakh uh, to one lakh uh, twenty thousand uh, uh, taka uh, per month. Uh, but um, uh, if I uh, if I uh, promoted uh, like as a CEO, my salary would be around uh, two lakh to two point five lakhs in, uh, Bangladeshi taka per month. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, so now back to your studies here in the UK. When during your studies, will you where will you be? Your accommodation will be. Have you got as the university accommodation or you're going to search outside the university uh, where you you intend actually to stay during your studies well uh, as ulster university doesn't provide uh, on campus so i prefer private accommodation 
like um, uh, i visited at kesita uh, like kesita.com for accommodation and um, uh, i knew that uh, lightfoot hall um, uh, which is located in, uh, uh, which is located around uh, 43 um, minutes away from my campus have you got any families and friends in the UK? No, sir. I don't have any family or friends who are living in the UK. So how far is your accommodation from the university? Approximately uh, 43 minutes uh, away from my in the university uh, by bus. Okay, so you prefer to go basically using the bus, yeah? Um, from to and fro from the university from your accommodation is that correct yes sir yes okay thank you very much uh, my next question would be how are you financially supporting your study in the uk well uh, my uh, papa will support uh, me financially uh, he's a businessman uh, uh, his business name is uh, Rezia agro business uh, this business has uh, two distinct uh, wing. Uh, one is uh, a bull farm and another is uh, fisheries. Okay, uh, can can you give me some uh, some basic information? How much uh, your dad is earning per month? Yes, uh, my papa earns uh, from uh, bull from uh, around uh, four lakhs taka, and uh, from fisheries uh, he earns around one lakh Bangladeshi taka per month, approximately uh, sixty lakh uh, taka uh, yearly income. So, what's the plan? Are you gonna pay back your loan? Is it, is it a loan or is it uh, uh, basically your grant? I mean, you're getting for studies from your parents. No, sir. Uh, uh, he earns uh, this amount of money uh, from his business. Uh, that's it. So, uh, how will you pay back to your parents, or is is there any plan to pay back your your fee? Or what's no, the sir. Plan? I don't. Uh, no, sir. Uh, I don't uh, need to pay back uh, this amount of money to them because uh, they are. Uh, uh, they are financially able, uh, so therefore I don't need to pay back um, uh, to my parents. In fact, um, uh, in, in, in Bangladesh, it's a tradition that parents always uh, support their um, uh, children uh, financially or in any another ways. Yeah, thank you very much. Do you have any proof of their income? Like, I mean, you can send to the university, like bank statements? Um, no, sir. No, I, no, my papa deposited in, uh, into my account uh, just uh, 20 days ago. So no, after 28 days, no, I can uh, prove it and obviously I'll send uh, it to my university. So does your parents support your other family members as well? No, sir. No, me and my only, uh, me and my mom only dependents on my papa's income okay thank you very much that's all i have to uh, ask from yourself have you got any questions from me uh no sir uh, thank you uh but i have a question uh, are you satisfied uh, with my answer thank you very much no it was a really really good uh, sort of detailed answers there Hello. <laughs> it was it was really good. Uh, one thing I would like to add here is actually you need a bit practice. I mean, the answers was perfect. I mean, what were you explained? Uh, that that was perfect. I mean, that that's pretty much there. You need to practice a lot more so you can be more fluent. I mean, your English is perfect as well. Uh, yeah. the, the more you practice, it will be more easy just, just to answer basically. It will be exactly the same answers you're going to provide. But if you practice them more, it will be quite easily when, when you answer basically exactly the same answers uh, in, in, in the actual interview as well. But apart from that, I, I, I believe it's, it's a perfect. Uh, you, you, you prepared, you are well prepared and uh, I'm sure yeah, you can easily take off all